Hey everyone, it's Tom Kradza with another Rockstar Real Estate Minute. And today we wanna to talk about the fastest way to evaluate a real estate partner or a business partner. And it's this, when you're gonna sit down with someone and they're gonna become a partner with you in either area, ask them what they consider to be a big problem. Because the answer to that question is gonna give you so much insight into their context and the area of expertise you're going into, whether it's real estate or business. So for example, if, if you're gonna be uh, choosing a real estate partner and someone responds to that question, uh, um, you know what they consider to be a big problem as maybe a vacancy. If they consider a vacancy to be a big problem in real estate, then you absolutely don't want them as a real estate partner. That's a tiny, tiny little problem in the world of real estate. And I'll give you an example. Two brothers that we work with um, live in Toronto. One of their properties is well outside Toronto and they hated dealing with vac vacancies. But instead of letting them stop, uh, instead of that letting them stop them from buying real estate, they bought real estate outside of Toronto where the financials made more sense and they created a system using Facebook ads and some telephone calls that they put together where they could get people to the property that were well qualified and it streamlined the process so much so that they were just filling properties with one visit up at the property. So they turned a little problem like that into a, a, an elegant, uh, they handled that problem with an elegant solution and that problem that's a big problem to somebody else was like a nothing problem to them. We, d we have real estate investors that we work with now that have had their whole houses burned down because of different things tenants have done in the property. And now that they've dealt with that, that's not even a big problem to them anymore. So before you're getting into business with somebody or a real estate partnership, ask them what a big problem is. And, this, and, and it'll give you context like I was describing. And the second thing it'll give you is when they answer how they would solve that problem, it gives you insight into their thought processes. And that's really important. You want to see how resourceful someone is. So we just talked about a real estate example, but in business, if there's a business problem and let's say the business you're getting into with them that runs out of customers or you lose an account, What's the thought process they go to to solve the problem? Because if they can explain that thought process to you, to you, it gives you so much insight into how resourceful they are. And when you're choosing a partner, whether real estate or business, you want someone who can handle all sorts of problems and you want someone who's really resourceful. So asking a question of, hey, what do you think is a big problem in real estate or business gives you an idea of how they think about problems and it also gives you an idea of how resourceful they are once you, once you get them to explain their thought process and how they'd handle the problem. Hopefully that gives you something to think about. Until next time, your life, your terms.